Alright, what's up guys? So Wham Bam Tesla Cam. I like that name. Like, nah, that's 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 a name I could support. That's a name I could get with. But anyways, they have uploaded a video titled Tesla Road Rage Attack Caught on Camera. This man looked like he is on a busy highway. That's that is some wild stuff, bruh. Like, no, I'm gonna say whether it's drugs or alcohol, whatever it is, you gotta leave it alone. Because that look, bro, all right? I'm not trying to be disrespectful. I, I always want to show respect to any and everybody that I react to. But at the same time, if you are out in the middle of the hall hallway, highway, no shirt, with a backpack, and a Louis Vuitton belt, drugs like that's all i'm gonna say about that so you gotta leave them drugs alone people and you're yelling at a random i guarantee and i promise you he don't know who's behind the other end of that camera i guarantee and i promise you that so but anyway who knows maybe it might be a road rage but i'm like no it's i just feel that something else is going on but make sure if you guys haven't go subscribe to um wham bam tesla cam for more videos like this and then that being said Greg and his wife were on their way to lunch when traffic on the Dwight D. Eisenhower Expressway slowed to a it crawl. Crazy. That's when Greg noticed a Tesla Model 3 facing sideways on the highway, blocking traffic. Drivers were maneuvering around the Tesla when Greg noticed the Tesla owner, a shirtless man, waving and gesturing at the passing vehicles. Yeah, see, Greg that is... tried to stay out of the way like other drivers were doing, but when the shirtless man saw Greg's Tesla, he ran to block his car. Greg thinks he needed help with something and wanted him to stop. Greg tried to understand what he was asking for to see if he could assist him, but the shirtless man got frustrated and Bro, kicked Greg's car. That Greg is to crazy. Get away from this person in any way possible. The shirtless man struck the side of the Tesla, making a loud thump on the glass, but Greg managed to escape. That is Greg crazy. Greg for any damage, but carried on with his day when he found none. He enjoyed lunch, excited, knowing he'd experienced a wham-bam moment that didn't involve his car I'm being I'm like, damaged. bro, what you got going Sadly, on? the same I... can't be said for our other wow. submitters. We've lined up 20 crazy Tesla Cam stories from our submitters Dang. this episode. Roll them. Wham, bam, Tesla Cam. I hope you're satisfied. Bro got a whole jingle, I swear, man. <laughs> Before we get to the Rex, we've got one more Roid Rage video. I mean, Road Rage. And this one is Tesla on Tesla. Mike was using the full self-driving beta when a Model 3 driver sped around a line of cars in a turn-only lane before trying to cut in front of Mike. When the light turned green, FSD started moving, but the Model 3 cut Mike off before the Bro. driver stopped and spit on his Model Y. Wow. Mike kept going without making a big deal out of it, especially since it looked like most of the spit ended up inside the other guy's Model 3. Thankfully, it rained soon after, so at least Mike's That's car was crazy. clean, even if the other driver was still out looking for more targets. That would it make no sense. You cut me off and they're going to get mad. Her Model 3 in North Syracuse, New York, when she merged onto a highway as the on-ramp ended. As she continued, the driver of a semi-truck in the travel lane evidently hadn't noticed Reyna's Tesla in the exit lane. The truckers started moving toward the exit lane, and since they were now on a bridge without any shoulders, Reyna... Bro, had how do you not... That's crazy. crazy. That is crazy. The truck hadn't even noticed and was now pushing the Tesla in front of it. And while Reyna fought to regain control, she told us she could feel him actually speeding up. We can see the truck Dude, back you into the traffic nah. lane, then back to the exit lane. How do you and not that's when even was finally able to counter steer, nearly escaping, but then the truck pit maneuvered her again. That as guy is nah. and went plowing. That guy the is crazy. Finally stopping on East Wells Avenue. Nah, that guy is crazy. There's no way possible you can miss a car like that. I'm like, I'm actually curious, like, you know, yeah, it might be a trucker thing where you can't see cars, but no, bruh, that's, nah, I, I'm sorry, but I just, I feel like you would at least hear something, I just, I don't know, man, they need to make it where trucks, you can maybe put, like, some glass or something at the, at the bottom, like, some, like, thick glass, of course, you know, to, you know, make up for the material that's being taken out but yeah i would definitely try to like modify my truck or put some cameras there just in case if i can't really see but how do you make that mistake though police were called and an insurance claim was filed 
but the truck driver insisted the whole thing was Reyna's fault, even though the video evidence clearly proves otherwise. Yeah! Reyna told us her grandson Oscar told her about our channel. He has a YouTube channel, Oscar Shifts. Yeah, shout out to he's Oscar. A submitter to Wham Bam Gamer Cam. Thanks for spreading oh. the word, Oscar. I know they had a gaming channel. I had to check that out too. Ryan and his family had just returned to their car from watching Monster Jam and were heading home when someone threw rocks at their Tesla as they drove under an overpass. Wow. That's crazy. Wow. People, is this Seattle? Because. Thankfully, none of the rocks made it through the glass, although shards of glass were found inside the car. Ian and his family were unhurt, but the car sustained damage in multiple locations. They People be doing that out here. Called the police, but they headed home to file an insurance claim after waiting for two hours for cops who never showed up. Yeah, I'm like, people be doing that out here in Seattle. That's like, they had, it was like, actually, it was a story that was kind of happening last year. And then I'm trying to think, was it 2020 or 2021? But anyways, regardless, it's then some years ago. Then, yeah, people were dropping like whole bikes, big giant rocks. Yeah, people out here in Seattle, they a different breed, bro. I definitely recommend anybody that comes out here to visit, be cautious. When Alex rounded a bend in the road, the driver of another Tesla didn't see him coming and turned in front of his path. Alex Bro. quickly reacted, jerking his steering wheel to avoid a collision. You, when this wow. happened, his rear wheels briefly lost control before his traction control system activated. We haven't adjusted the speed on this video at all, so either Alex was driving a little bit fast, or the video might have gotten corrupted and is playing back at the wrong speed. We're not sure, so That's we'll just crazy. leave it at that and let you decide in the comment section. It did look room. like when he was like speed getting closer, it did look a little sped Larry up. Larry was stopping but... for traffic up ahead, and he always checks his rearview mirror whenever something like this happens. Suddenly, he saw the driver behind him move over for something. A Honda came flying forward, white smoke and parts flying all around wow. it. Larry quickly moved over to avoid being struck. Larry pulled over to see if he'd been struck by debris and if anyone needed his Tesla cam video. There was no damage to his vehicle, and thankfully, everyone was okay. Tesla's Larry been told us nice. he even installed extra bright LED brake light bulbs that might help alert a distracted driver whenever he's stopping or slowing down. That's a cool Peter feature. Peter parked his Model 3 in Oakland, California, when a guy in a gray hoodie walked up, broke into his car, and stole a suitcase from his trunk in under 10 seconds. Wow. Let's walk through this incident. And just right there in front of people. What you can do to prevent something like this happening to you. The first thing That's he did crazy. was smash the quarter glass so he could reach in and pull the release lever to fold down the back seat. Pulling the lever automatically folded down the back seat, giving the thief a clear view into the trunk. He then broke the rear window before reaching in for the suitcase. This actually isn't a Tesla-specific issue. Thieves use this method to break into the trunks of lots of different vehicles. The best policy is to avoid leaving valuables yeah. in your car, even in the trunk, no matter what you drive. In the case of Teslas, our friends over at Tespros sell a product called the Drop Lock that fixes this issue. For oh. only 30 US dollars, it prevents thieves from folding down your back seat using the release lever. We put a link in the description if you want to check it out. You guys got a Tesla, there you go. Shy was driving his Model Y in Ontario, Canada, when the passenger of an oncoming car threw a full water bottle at him. Shy wow. immediately called the police after the wow. water bottle shattered the windshield. Sadly, they told him there was nothing they could do since Shy wasn't able to decipher the license plate number from the Tesla cam video. Oh, this goes man. Anything that could be called just a prank. This sort of thing could That's easily crazy. cause a fatal collision. We'd really like to help catch that this person, is so crazy. If you know anything about them or recognize the vehicle, and it was like uh, us so we can forward it looked like it was kind of like a plastic water bottle. The police. And it looked hard. Dang, that's crazy. Mary Beth was driving home after attending an event. As she was approaching an intersection, an SUV pulled out right in front of her. Wow. Okay, because you know. The yeah. SUV driver said she didn't see the Model 3 coming down the road and claimed the driver who'd stopped to let her through waved her on as if it was clear. The Model 3's airbags deployed and Mary Beth struggled to get out of the car. She was really shaken up and took an ambulance to the emergency room to get checked out. Thankfully, she's That's now crazy. completely recovered. She That's told good. us she's glad she was driving a Tesla. The car was towed away and eventually totaled, and Mary Beth replaced it about four months later. Man, that's messed up.
Sean was driving along with the full self-driving beta enabled and his three kids fast asleep in the car when he suddenly saw a double rainbow. <laughs> Whoa! Oh, wow! Woo! Yeah! Double rainbow all the way across the sky! Anyway, that's not what okay, this video yeah, I was about to say, I'm like, if I'm, because my thing is, is this, you know, like, kids, like, we, you know, they get out of school and all that stuff, you just be wanting to take, like, them, like, either a bus nap, or a, well, not really the bus, because I'm like, I feel like buses, they usually, regardless, you try to take them, like, after school naps and things, if I'm knocked out of sleep, and my parents start yelling like that, I'm like, look, that's cool and all, but I'm trying to sleep, all right? I had a long day in math. We had to read green eggs and ham. I'm just trying to sleep, bro. I'm not trying to, I'm not trying to hear any of that. But anyway, When Sean slowed down for an intersection up ahead, the car to his right suddenly started sliding out of control. Sean found this Whoa. very strange and thinks they must have either had bad tires or maybe the driver yeah, caused this intentionally. I'm no carologist, but it does appear that the rear wheels are locked up yeah. while the front wheels are still rotating. Got some bald tires. Roberto was stopped at a red light when a Jeep driver rear-ended him and, you know what? I'm not even going to make a joke about those eyelashes. What? Just post your best quips in the comments. The Jeep <laughs> driver didn't provide her insurance information wow. or identification before fleeing the scene while wow. Roberto was waiting for the police. She did give him a phone number, but surprise, surprise, it was fake. That's crazy. After Roberto showed the responding police officer her license plate number, she looked up the driver and discovered it was someone she knew personally. The <laughs> officer promised Roberto she'd get a hold of the driver and get back to him. Wow, that's crazy. John was driving in Queensland, Australia, when the P-plater in front of him started signaling to merge right before changing their mind. For our non-Aussie audience, a P-plate indicates someone who is still learning how to drive. It wow. means the driver has a provisional license, meaning he's still a beginner and must obey additional driving rules like having a restricted speed limit. That's crazy. Josh was driving his Model Y down a highway in Baltimore when he saw two cars speeding and swerving around yeah, traffic I'm like, you can ahead. just tell. One of the vehicles lost control and hit the median barrier before flipping onto its roof. Can't be speeding like that. I'm like, bro, Since regardless of you racing, it like, should, no, you should not. There should be no reason why you speeding like that. And Josh was running late. He continued on. Wow. Mark was coming back from a trip after visiting some friends near Boston. On his way through Rhode Island, a giraffe in the road almost caused a collision between multiple vehicles. Okay, okay. when we first read the description I... of this video, we were a little bit confused. <laughs> yeah. But when we watched the video, we realized it was only a toy giraffe. Yeah, because I was about to say, I'm like, so, like, what, was there a zoo nearby? Like, I was like, nah, Rhode Island, look, I've never been out there. But I just know that giraffes don't just be walking out and about and stuff. I, you know, I don't... I don't think that's a thing, but I'm, I don't know. Maybe Rhode Island is different. I just, I've, like I said, I've never been out there, so I don't know about it. But yeah, that, yeah, that's something where I was like, and I was really looking too, because I'm like, nah, is it like, but then once you, you see it like all stiff like this, like, yeah, this is a toy of some sort. That's crazy. He was driving his Model Y in South Carolina when the driver of a black Kia on his left decided at the last minute she didn't want to get on the highway before swerving into his lane. Phil swerved to avoid the Kia, but the driver still blamed Phil and said he was in the How? wrong. She said How? he should have moved over for her, and when he tried to tell her there were two lanes merging onto the highway, she wouldn't listen. I'm Phil like, wants to know what our viewers think. Who was in the wrong, him or the Kia driver? Yeah, you can't make no last minute decision. You just gonna have to wait. They're talking about I should let you Carrie over. Was commuting home from Palm Springs when she spotted a rocket in the sky. Carrie told us the rocket belonged to Firefly Aerospace, who launched their Alpha rocket from Vandenberg Space Force Base in California wow. as part of the Victus Knox mission. We even get to see it push toward the atmosphere. That's crazy. Yeah, that's something you gotta you gotta pull over to the side of the road. That's that is very very distracting. Nah, you gotta pull over to the side of the road and then just kind of look at it and stuff because nah, it's like imagine driving that you just kind of look and then all of a sudden that's like one of them like mayhem type commercials, man. Joe was driving through an intersection when a truck driver clearly ran a red light. Thankfully, they it's were like, able to sir, stop, but that brings red. us to another edge case. Lights that red. Your expert opinion on. 
Like, you need my glasses? On his lunch break, when he told us he sped up to beat a light rather than getting a hard braking violation that would increase his insurance premium. The car sounded an mm. alert, and Klein isn't positive, but he thinks it helped him steer and brake in an attempt to avoid a collision. The light was still yellow as Klein was proceeding through. At first, he thought he would be found at fault, but after reviewing the footage, he no longer thinks so. What do you think? Let us know in the comments. Yeah, I just, I don't know, man. Josh was leaving a packed Gotta Dodgers just take game, your time. You can just imagine the traffic situation with everyone wanting oh, to yeah. leave at the exact same time. Dang! Police officers were directing traffic to keep everything moving, but that didn't stop this truck driver from plowing straight Bruh, into traffic. Like... We can even see a cop trying to wave at him right before the impact. Another officer then walked toward the truck driver to have a little chat. Josh didn't like, stop. Oh, what you got going on? Officers had witnessed the incident, and he didn't want to hold up traffic any more than it already was. That's crazy. Brogan was pulling up to a stoplight when he saw a really cool car. Comment below if you know what it is and to claim bragging rights. While Brogan was admiring the car on his left, he suddenly heard a loud metal crunch and saw car parts go flying in the Ooh, intersection ahead wow. of him. The driver of a white Nissan Sentra ran a red light and collided with a gray Nissan Sentra whose driver was also running a red light. The responding motor officer recorded. And somebody, I remember that um, that it was like in one of the last few, like I think it was either the idiots drivers or Mustang drivers. It was like one of the videos I reacted to, and I said like, you know, people like if you running late somewhere, like do you just gonna have to accept the fact that you're late? And they really tried to defend speeding, and they're all like, I'm doing it so I can show off my car. And it's stuff like that where I'm like, you gonna find yourself in the situation? Yeah, you gonna be showing off your car, all right? You gonna be showing it off to your insurance company that you saw up to and they were like oh yeah so th this is the damage this is the, like so yeah if you know this you gotta swipe over and like this is the damage on this side swipe again that this is the damage swipe one oh no that's actually no not that far <laughs> i'm saying it's like people there ain't no reason my thing is, is this unless you are a professional racer there is no reason for you to be out there speeding bro people i'm saying they be trying to like defend that stuff i'm like okay well if you find yourself in the situation don't say i didn't warn you so rogan's tesla cam footage using his helmet cam. Time Brogan is a dope name, though. Cam giveaway. I just we wanted to say that real Viofo quick. A229 Pro, their top model to Tesla cam in a bonus video. And we gave everyone a chance to win it simply by commenting which car you drive. We got over 1,300 entries, so we used a special Dang. tool to select a winner. Ready? Here we go. The winner is Stefan. Actually, the Shout tool to Stephen. stated that entrants had to comment with the kind of car they drive, and Stefan didn't Dang. do that. Sorry, Stefan, but we'll have to pick a different one winner and here they are Dang. they drive a toyota gr yaris which is a cool little car we can't wait to see their dash cam submissions one viofo a229 pro is heading your way we still feel bad that for cool, Stefan, that cool. as it seems like he might have failed to understand the instructions for the giveaway. As a consolation prize, we'll send him another dash cam Viofo sent us to test, the A119. But only if you promise to read the directions, Stefan. If you hmm. didn't win, don't worry. You can still use our exclusive coupon codes down in the description to pick up either one of these dash cams at a discount. Enjoy. Wham, bam, we got a Patreon, man. Please support the Bro, show. they really have a whole jingle. Yeah, wham bam Tesla cam. Now nah, that's that's I, I like this channel. It's a it's a dope channel, but yeah, man, Teslas. You know the thing is, is like I like them, but I just don't know, man. I it's one of those things. It, it's it's when I cross that bridge that I'm like, okay, I I think I'll I'll look into it, you know, just to see. I don't know if I would use that auto drive um feature. But, um, yeah, I think I definitely would, you know, look into them and stuff and kind of test the waters with it and things. But anyways, um, nah, man, that's a pretty good video. Make sure if you guys haven't, go subscribe to Wham Bam Tesla Cam for more videos like this. Like, subscribe to me too, and I'll talk to you guys later. Thank you guys for watching, and peace.